Now we're supposed to prove that SQ space quest is in NP. Um, so uh, it's a decision problem, so it can be an NP, that's a nice thing. Um, and typically the way we prove that something is an NP is even though it's a decision problem, we think about the non-decision problem version of it. So, you know, remember when we talked about problem one up here and we said, oh, my yellow highlighted path there is a solution, one plus one plus three, uh, the, the numbers in the nodes does add up to five or more. And so that shows that the answer is yes. But if you think about like, what do you actually want as a solution here? Well, first of all, you don't really just want yes as a solution. You, you probably want to know what is the path that the uh, that the the perky rebel forces, I don't know, the hero, uh, should follow in order to get the quest value that you want. Probably you actually want the best path too. But the bottom line is you want the actual path, right? So the actual path is really the solution, and that's going to be the core of proving that SQ is in NP. So let the certificate be the path that will accumulate K or more quest value. Okay, and can we represent that in polynomial space? Sure, that's just a list of the nodes that must start with the start node, right? Uh, such that each pair of subsequent nodes is connected by an edge, and such that the total value of uh, all of the nodes along the path is at least k, and it's not allowed to be a cycle, right? Because we're never allowed to revisit a system, so we can check that none of that happens. Um, so this is uh, this is this is clearly a polynomial length as a list of nodes. Okay, so that's good. And how do we check it? Uh, we uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this out as steps, right? So ensure. Uh, let me say this is p1, p2, p3, dot dot dot, pk. Okay. Ensure pi and pi plus one is an element of the set of edges, so are connected by a wormhole for all i greater than or equal to one and less than k. Okay, does that take polynomial time? Yeah, I'm gonna just say poly time. That's clearly polynomial time. Whatever representation we have for the graph, can we check to see whether an edge is in the set of edges in polynomial time? Sure, if it's some sort of sensible representation. Let's say we use an adjacency matrix, we can do that check in constant time. Okay, two. So now we've ensured that this is actually a path. Uh, let's check that P1 is start system. So, oops, I should say check the P1, so, you know, ensure. And that takes uh, constant time. Hopefully, in, in any reasonable approach, we can do that in constant time. Regardless, we can do it in polynomial time, and that's actually all we care about. Okay, so now it's a path rooted at the start system, the you know, path that starts at the start system. We need to make sure it's not a cycle. Uh, ensure no duplicates in P1 up to PK. We already have an algorithm for testing for duplicates. Uh, it takes polynomial time, so this is no problem. Certainly we could do it in n squared time. We also know, or sorry, k squared time. We also know we can do it in k log k time. So that's great. So now we have a path that never goes back on itself. Um, so far, all we've done is really just make sure it is a legitimate path for the fugitives to follow. We haven't checked that it meets uh, the condition that the total quest value is sufficient. Uh, so let's check that. Ensure. The summation i equals uh, 1 to k of uh, the quest value of pi is greater than or equal to. Oh, I used k twice. I am so sorry. Um, can, I, can I just make this a red k? <laughs> so this is a red k. 
Uh, and this is a red K. This is a red K. Okay, so that's a totally different K. I apologize. For, for my records, I'll go back and erase that and change it. So if you look at the static solution, if I end up being able to post that, uh, it won't use K. Sorry. Uh, but that K was not the K um, that is the minimum amount of quest value we need to get. It was just the number of uh, star systems along the path. And we need to ensure that the sum of the values of those star systems is sufficient. And we can certainly check that in polynomial time. We, we know that there's a polynomial number of star systems on the path. Uh, and how long does it take up to look up the values? Hopefully those are just stored in an array so we can look up a constant time, which means this actually takes linear time. So uh, that does it. Okay, we've checked that it is polynomial time certifiable.